Hey guys, this is Steve, and this is my awesome, excellent, amazing co-host, Josh. And we are Two Likeable Guys. No one has yet to claim the Two Likeable Guys prize pack by finding the Two Likeable Guys banner in Chattanooga. We're going to let that run for about another week. So if you can find it, it's pretty easy to find. One guy unknowingly found it, but he wasn't qualified because he didn't email us the correct location he came by and this guy came by said hey you must be two likable guys <laughs> <laughs> and i said well i'm one i said that's the podcast <laughs> and uh so i had to set him straight oh there's a few little hints right in there for that yeah hey um today we have a uh, <clears throat> Today we have a... <laughs> we have a show. A podcast That's episode. what you want to call it? We have a informative, awesome... We have a great show for you today. We're going to talk with our friend, Eric Harley Brown. Hashtag Eric Crazy Legs. Or Eric Crazy Legs. He is the touring and amazing bass player for Larry Fleet. And he's making a name for himself as the dancing Elvis Richard. We'll get into that later. It's pretty amazing <laughs> what he's being referred to as. I was going to say, don't give it away. Don't give yeah. it away now. You've got to hear what people are saying about this man. And we'll get into that real quickly here. But remember... October 22nd of 2022, Larry Fleet was special guest. We don't know who's going to open for him yet. We'll have to ask Eric. I guess, and and I'm surprised it wasn't marketed as Eric Crazy Legs with special singer Larry Fleet. (laughs) Featuring featuring Larry Fleet. (laughs) Yeah. That's like like Eric and the Blowfish. <laughs> Come on now. He tells us all about the tour. Uh, the he tells n- us Larry's the star. Come on now. Yep. But oh my gosh, there were these two cowboys stranded. <laughs> they were stranded in the desert. Stranded in the desert. Oh man. And one of them, you know, they, they were they were there for a while, and so one of them looks ahead and he sees what he believes to be a bacon tree. Mm. Says, oh my gosh, we can eat. It's bacon. It's delicious. Got a stupid cowboy, eh? <laughs> well, he's been out in the sun for a while. Oh, a little delirious. I got yeah, you. So he, so he runs and he runs and he runs and he runs and he gets to the bacon tree. And right before he gets there, he gets shot. Mm. It's terrible. Turned out it wasn't a bacon tree. What was it? It was a ham bush. Oh, man. Ham bush. That's funny, man. <laughs> it was not a bacon tree. It was a ham bush. It's a ham bush. But uh, hey, let's see if we can uh, call up our little buddy, our little dancing. Don't call up our little dancing buddy. Our little dancing buddy, ladies and gentlemen, Eric. Crazy legs. Harley Brown. Um, really good friend. Um, well, I think he's a really good friend. Maybe he'd say differently. But no. I was going to say, don't, don't start talking for him now. I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to start off. We, we are, our main focus today, which I have trouble focusing, but our main focus today is going to be Eric Brown or Eric oh, Harley yeah. Brown. Crazy legs. <laughs> and we're going to talk about um, they're coming to Chattanooga, which the show is uh, we, we I checked earlier and there were still tickets available. But okay, cool. It is very close to being sold yeah. out. Yeah, they they were thinking it, by the time we get there, it probably will be. And that's going to be so cool because we have a special giveaway for one or two lucky people. Yeah. So that's going to be pretty awesome. But <laughs> I wanted the world to hear a little bit about what's being said. I, I found some quotes. Some these are real quotes. Online about oh, no. about Eric Harley Brown, Crazy Legs, <laughs> and 
Well, hey, hey, you know, if you found it online, there's quotes out there. It has to be <laughs> true. It, it has to be true <laughs> since it's online. I believe everything I read online. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you, this one was from a, uh, and I, I think I've showed you this before, Eric, and, and it's kind of, uh, it's good though. This is from, uh, NC Mountain Mama. Huh? I need to know who this fine Richard Petty, <laughs> Riley Green, and Elvis mix of a man is. <laughs> <laughs> I need to meet Sounds him. Sounds like a modern day Frankenstein to me. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I need to meet him. And this was when you were touring with, um, um, you guys were touring with Morgan Wallen. He said, oh, I need yeah. to meet him, not Morgan. <laughs> so hey, that is like one of hey, the, man. it's a huge compliment. Yeah. And then the other part of her quote is, when you're a huge Larry Fleet fan, but your focus is on his bassist with the moves and whole vibe that this 40 year old <laughs> mama is here for y'all. <laughs> hey, do it over again for the team, baby. Yeah. Take one for the team. You got to do that. And this one's a little more recent. There were actually two uh, more recent ones. Uh, I'm going to paraphrase one of them. Uh, the latest one was Larry and, and his personal, this, this tour is phenomenal was one. But this lady, um, this is this was a review on. It's one like a Yelp or a band review something. Oh, weird. Or maybe it's on bandsintown dot com or something. But anyway, uh, whoever her name was, Angela no Andrea Hurley says great show. And this was just May seventh is when this was posted. Huh. Just just not too long ago. Great show. Very happy that he came out and joined the crowd. And was open to conversation and pictures. Uh, that was talking about Larry. Said yeah. Dan was great. Larry was spectacular. And Crazy Legs is very entertaining and a great addition to the show. <laughs> great addition. Oh, what did I say? Well, yeah, I, I, addition. I, yeah, my I, I, I had, yeah, it's auditioning. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take yeah. that. <laughs> I, I, you know, and it, it wasn't very hard to find those. Uh, all I did was do a little eric crazy leg search well that's and, pretty wild I, i've never actually searched myself <laughs> well <laughs> well those were the two best ones i'm not going to tell you the others no th ah, those, okay okay no, that's good, yeah. no there weren't any bad ones i found no bad ones i, I found well that's cool nothing well, that said like bad stuff about you well that's just what i've tried to say you know when you come out to see you know one of Larry's shows you're, you're going to get a whole package deal so and and what I do is is not pre-planned, and I think I've told you that before. I mean, it, it's just kind of I just I'm having fun, and I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, but apparently I'm doing something. <laughs> you so you don't choreograph? You don't have a choreographer up there doing no. moving you and Larry around on stage no. at certain times? No, nope. nobody no. like J Lo or uh, Paula Abdul. No, no, we ain't that fancy. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't that fancy at all. <laughs> We're just Tennessee boys. <laughs> yeah, was no, it fancy like Applebee's? But on, I mean, we have been. Night? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Right, old Walker. Um, I mean, we have been conscious of the fact, though, that you know, you, you go to see a lot of bands, and and you we see a ton of great musicians and a lot of great bands. But then it's sometimes just it's just so boring to kind of sit and watch them. So we have tried to. I think me and Larry have talked about this. We try to be conscious of the fact that. Yeah, we got a good show. We got a killer band and, and, and something good going on. But, you know, you, you got to think about the entertainer aspect of it. You know, ironically enough, I was watching a documentary on Kiss the other day and I was telling this to Larry that we were talking about, and it was Paul Stanley that started, but they started <laughs> videoing themselves early on. And he's like, man, he said, I wasn't really doing anything. He said, the guy way back in the back didn't have a clue of anything I was doing. And he said, that's when I realized, you know, the, 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 the stage is valuable real estate. Right. And, and so uh, I was like, well, gosh, that kind of makes sense. I said, I've just kind of started doing a few things. So I'm like, well, let's just open it up and just have fun. And so me and Larry particularly here in the last little bit, and Xander, a guitar player, have, they put us all on wirelesses. Oh, there you go. And so now we can just move all 
all over the place and and it's just it's as much entertainment for us i think as it is for the crowd because we just we try to crack each other up and and, you know do a little inside jokes and stuff on stage and so um it's just part of the entertainment you know i think that's how people you know particularly as a bass player you know honestly most people don't remember the bass player oh but Um, that's one thing you've uh, marketed pretty well for yourself is because um, that's the one thing about in the reviews I read and the reviews I saw is they always compliment the bass player, which is, I think is a positive for everybody involved, because if you can make anything a little bit more memorable, I think that's a uh, very, very big plus because when you come around next time, they'll be like, Larry Fleet, let's see. Yeah, I like his music, and then we went and saw, oh yeah, and he had that dancing <laughs> Elvis, Richard Petty looking bass player. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, hey man, you know uh, I ain't getting any younger, so I gotta make my mark as fast as I can. You know, well, next time, but, uh, next time they'll say, oh, we're just gonna see that bass player. It's got that guy that sings with him. Yeah, What's that guy that well, sings with him. No, that'll never happen. <laughs> old, old, old Larry, he's got too much talent for that. Ever <laughs> no, you, you say that, but NC Mountain. Mama would think different. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate NC Mountain Mama and all her encouragement. But, you know, I, I wouldn't be here for if it wasn't for my buddy. You know. Yes. I. Uh, yeah. And I, I don't. Yeah. And uh, with small, funny, um, ironic story, um, my wife um, uh, works just a couple of days a week now. She's still going to school and stuff, and and she uh, delivers pizza for a local uh, pizza chain, and. Um, she said, uh, hey, have you heard of a guy, and, um, well, I'm a, he lives over in this certain na- neighborhood. He drives yeah. a, a, a maybe a big red truck. <laughs> I think his name's Larry. <laughs> I said, uh, yeah, although it's ringing a bell, why? She said, well, I just deliver pizza to his house. <laughs> <laughs> so Monday night, I know your buddy had, uh, or his family at least, had pizza. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, because so, he's up in uh, he's up in Nashville tonight doing something up at the Ryman. There's uh, some songwriters thing he's doing up there, but uh, but yeah, yeah. So that sounds like the old man. You weren't <laughs> you weren't you weren't invited over for the pizza party. <laughs> I've been over plenty for plenty of pizza parties. Okay, uh, I, I'm I'm not disappointed. I was having well, not a pizza party, but a cookout with my own family. So oh, there, there you go. Yeah, yeah. We all see each other all the time, so we, we we like to get a little bit of a break every once in a while. I've I've been going by. I still haven't talked to him, but um, I've been going by and 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 getting an eye on your uh, son over there at the at the uh, where he's working. And uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I think my yeah. mom has has talked to him though. That sounded kind of oh, stalkerish. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I just, went, I, I just went through the drive through and okay. I had to pick something up. and I, So I wasn't going to say, hey, tell uh, that guy, that tall guy right there who's co- uh, doing whatever, tell him to come here. <laughs> you know, I didn't yeah, do he's that. Yeah, he's going to be that much He's fixing to leave, so he's getting him a, a, a big boy job with benefits and stuff, so I'm proud of him. Oh, that. okay, yeah, great. Right. Yeah, Congratulations yeah, so. to, to him. Shoot. Yeah, you have to get... Is, is there any room for she, I somebody gonna, else? I was going to say, I don't even have a big boy job that's got benefits. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, well, I have to ask him what that's like. Yeah. Yeah, I know. What's it like to be responsible? <laughs> <laughs> What's it like to have insurance and uh, yeah, all that good stuff? Yeah. Paid oh, vacation. Oh, yeah, thank God for my wife. She's the one that handles all that stuff. She really has the big boy job. So she's she's the one that keeps me straight. Well, I saw, alive. I saw here a few weeks ago, Larry posted that you guys were having rehearsals for the, uh, yeah. the tour. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, um, is this like the, what the, how they documented Michael Jackson on his rehearsals <laughs> for his tour? Is that, is that what it felt like? Yeah. You had audition for extent. dancers. Yeah. Maybe a lesser extent. No, we, we really tried to kind of, uh, rework a, a whole new, um, show for this kind of tour. So we really kind of added in some really fun stuff and, and some new tunes so we really paid attention a lot during the morgan tour and then all summer long we've been just flown. um and so we've really been studying a, the show a lot and how the crowd reacts and where it seems like it needs to be a little more energy so i think something you do is as is, is kind of a band and particularly later as, as a as an artist you always kind of try to keep moving forward and, and sort of re, reworking and revamping what you're doing to keep it more engaging and entertaining because he 
we talking about it and he said man there's there's people coming to like a bunch of these shows and he said i want them to be you know it want to come back every time and come back more and more and more i mean that's how you grow and that's how you maintain you know your audience right um it's good keeping stuff. them engaged yeah and and then also we revamped a lot of stuff so we're, we're it's all everything you hear going you know on the stage is is all of us playing live during the morgan stuff we had to do a few what are called tracks just to kind of compete with the, the bigger sound and playing in front of twenty thousand people right um and now it's a little more intimate in front of like about a you know anywhere from about 600 to a thousand people and so it's just pure, it's just all you know, old um, bar band up there is what it is now. But we reworked it and, and added some pretty exciting stuff to it. So is the um is is the tour you're you've you've done several shows now on the one for the road tour? Yeah, we just finished up three. Yeah, the the official start. We did some dry runs in, in Purdue University and some other places like that. And then it officially started this past weekend in uh, Nebraska. We played Iowa and Illinois. So is it going well so far? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, they, uh, well, one was, was completely sold out, and the others were just maybe 20 or 30 shy. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, which which is really cool. And then we just found out, um, you know, um, today, like, um, we're going to St. Louis and Chicago and, and Columbia, Missouri this week. And so, like, our Chicago uh, show is officially sold out, and so I think that's about a 1,000 people. And and then uh, St. Louis is about there and Missouri is about there. So, I mean, they're, it's pretty cool because, you know, a lot of these markets we've never played, some of these venues we've never played. And, and just to roll up and all of a sudden there's lines of people, it's a trip, you know. That's, because, that's so cool. I yeah, can just, we've um, never been there. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever um, do you ever go out? Uh, uh, do you do anything? I've been to a few shows like this at little bars yeah. and stuff and nashville and stuff and and sometimes uh if it's not a sold out show you'll see the band afterwards do you guys ever go out and uh talk to anybody afterwards or is that kind of uh no man's oh, yeah. own yeah, yeah no no we um um you know larry does you know these meet and greet things as well uh and so people can sit and talk to him but no we always try to uh you know talk to people as much as we can and, and you know they'll come up more you know, autographs and pictures and stuff like that. So we, we don't ever turn anybody away. I mean, because, you know, that those are people we look at that have spent their hard on money to come out and, and be entertained. And that's an honor. And, you know, you don't take that lightly. When you sign your name, do you sign it, uh, Eric Crazy Legs? No. <laughs> I didn't figure out how to do that. Yeah, I've been writing my own signature for 40 some years. So, do you do, you, know, do you sign it just Eric Brown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although I really, you know, conscious now. Now that I hear you say it, I probably ought to figure out something cooler to do than that. <laughs> no, it's awesome. Just put, just put the but crazy legs it anyway, in the so it might look like crazy legs. Who knows? <laughs> so, so what you're saying is my yearbook may be worth some money. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but sure, whatever you think. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. So um, did I sign your yearbook? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. I, I, I have to look. No, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, he probably he didn't. Steve like me. wasn't cool enough to get no. his yearbook signed. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go to middle school? I went to Red Bank. Okay, well then maybe I, I'd have to look and see because that's yeah. The only I went time. to Rivermont. Uh, elementary and then you know oh, did the two I years. went to Rivermont yeah 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 and then I did two years at Red Bank Junior and then moved over to the high school okay yeah yeah uh, my son is slated for a start in um at Rivermont no oh really yes 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 Rivermont for the preschool oh ah, cool soon. next year yep cool yep that's what we're doing. And, uh, that, Hey, I, I wanted to know, is it, is it like a, a 60 minute show, a 90 minute show? Um, uh, or do you, not work, um, three hours, you know, when we do, if, if we do, uh, if they're into it and, and they have been so far, we, we do a, um, a full encore, um, of, uh, of, of some songs. Um, but it's, I mean, it's clocking in at 90 minutes. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it, it's it's action packed, and it doesn't it doesn't stop. Now we, what's kind of cool though is we do um, give everybody's ears a little chance to rest and, and to breathe. And so we do we do a, a little mini acoustic set in the middle of the show. Are you playing the upright bass in it? 
Um, I'm, I've actually playing, I've got a guild acoustic bass that I'm playing because I was going to travel at the upright and, and I'll be honest, we've, we've added production and we've got a, uh, a, a sound drill now. And so we've added all this other stuff and there's, there's just not a good place to carry it. Right. Um, I mean, it's seven feet tall and, you know, and two and a half feet wide. So, um, there's just not a good spot to do it. So I, for that amount of tunes, that's what I told them. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just going to do acoustic uh electric but it's acoustic bass um but so and then uh, xander plays like dobro and and acoustic and our piano player plays acoustic and even our drummer does a cool little thing where he's got this tambourine deal and and this other little drum on this stand so it, it's very broke down and he plays with brushes and, um and so we, we throw in a couple of newer tunes that for from the uh, 1979 thing on there as well okay ah. Who do, uh, who do you have uh, opening for y'all, or are you just doing it um, all your own? No, we've got openers. We're, um, we've got um, a girl that's been out with us um, this past week. I, I don't know if she's with us this week or not, but Megan Maroney. Ah. Uh, uh, I think she's a TikTok girl and is affiliated with Morgan somehow. And then uh, this dude named Nate Smith that I'm real excited to see that's doing really well. And then probably my fader, favorite is this kid from Kentucky. His name's Tyler Booth. Um, Tyler what? Booth, B O O T H. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, um, who was, uh, he's had trouble with our uh, presidents in the past. <laughs> a different <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a real late night group. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he is really, really good. He's a, a young, up and coming dude. We, we did a bunch of shows with Darius Rucker and, and Tyler as well. Uh, Tyler kicked off the show, and then we were direct support for Darius. And, and but he's he's something you guys should check into. But it, it's cool. So it's all just um, acoustic. Okay. Um, the so we got like your openers, openers are just acoustic, just yeah. like them yeah. and their guitar or whatever. Yeah, yeah, cool. So so when y'all played with Darius, yeah, did y'all ever call him Hootie? <laughs> uh, I, I, man, I came really, really close many times. But then you know, I'm, I'm like, no, nah, I can't do that. I can't do that. I mean, how many times has he heard "Where's your blowfish"? Oh, uh, oh, oh, gosh, I know, and and that's why you know you, you just don't want to upset these people. We're trying to tour with him again next oh, year. Oh yeah, so. yeah, no. Everybody yeah, I've he, talked to has had an encounter with him. Says he's a super, super nice guy. And that's absolutely true. Yeah, he's he is one of and his whole band. He's got a great, great band, um, and all of those guys are just super, super nice. They were always watching us um, every every set we did, and 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 he really is. Darius is uh, he he's a very, very generous man and just a really, really cool dude. And yeah. and so he's not the um, so it's not the there's no blowfish with him anymore. I mean, uh, no, I don't. No. No. Well, I think he does a few special events where they they get together the blowfish you know through some charity stuff yeah they've got um, they've got some charity stuff they do and then uh some of their like fan things they'll yeah they do like a once a year fan like weekend thing that they do and so yeah they'll, they'll get together and and there's one play all the classic hits oh, yeah yeah all the hits i didn't listen to <laughs> <laughs> well nah. i've i've got to know um you need to give me a full i mean if you didn't like it let me know if you loved it let me know but if you, if it wasn't any good let me know that too what do you what are your reaction to playing at a nascar race at darlington oh it was amazing um it, it was it was extremely tiring and extremely hot and yes. very hectic, but very, 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 very cool. Because that they loaded us up on we we got we had, well, first of all we had to load in at eight a.m. <laughs> so it's about the earliest we've ever had to set up and and so we did a sound check and they had us on this trailer bed thing um, that <laughs> folded up and so what happens is that they had they set us all up and we sound checked and so we're ready to go. Um, so we we started the whole thing. So there's no other bands playing. It was just us. And and so they they put us on this thing and it it folds up. So you can't see what's on this trailer. And so they park it right in front of the very the checkered line or whatever. Yeah, it start. Uh, and then it opens up and then we're on there and then we kick it off. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it was pretty low. There was forty seven thousand people there. Yeah, is that the biggest crowd you've played to so far? Um. Probably, probably in one set. We've done a bunch of thirties and stuff like that. Um, but so that probably was. Now, granted, you know they were still kind of filing in a little bit, so they weren't all just 
conglomerate right in front of us, but they did open up the track. So there was people just piled up in front of us. Oh, that's good. So it, wasn't, it seemed a little more close. It wasn't as distant. Yeah, it was like a little they... more personal, you know, because people were, you know, we're doing high fives and stuff with folks. And oh, nice. Like but it, it was cool. I and mean, so it was almost kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese or no, Showbiz Pizza in my day. Yeah. Um, where, you know, all of a sudden the music stops off and the lights turn off and, and the things just close up and this truck just pulls us on around. <laughs> you know, and then and that's you it. rode on the truck around? Yeah, yeah. We were, so they drove us up on the track. We were on the track and on oh, this wow. trailer. And so we had a, a, a semi truck driving us and then it stopped and the thing unfolded and they pulled out all this NASCAR stuff. And, behind us and then we started and did our show we played for an hour and then when the hour was done everything just folded back up and the truck just took <laughs> off again <laughs> I, so I, it, I think i saw a video of you guys riding to start playing um oh yeah it was there a video of that i think there was like this probably like the, the four of you and y'all were like looking at each other like i don't really know what's going on <laughs> but yeah but it sounds about right <laughs> yeah it looked awesome though um, but it was cool so we had our bus and everything you know down there on the in the infield or whatever they call it. And so we had these, this private little area over there. And so we were, there was nobody in front of us, you know, watching the race. And oh, so, nice. was, you know, the cars were coming 15, 20 feet away from us. Wow. <laughs> yeah. they, they go a lot it, faster than they look like they do on TV. Don't they? It's amazing. And it's amazing how loud it is. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. I, I mean, I was down there, I was yelling. Larry was literally like six inches from my face and we're just sitting there just, yeah, to the top of our lungs, each other, and we couldn't hear a thing. You know, sounds about right. Yeah, but it it was awesome. I loved it. And then we actually left. We had we had to go out and do something else, and then so we actually left about three quarters of the way through it. And so our bus is driving, and we're watching it on TV, and the cars are going right by our bus, and we go through this tunnel. And so we're actually going under the track as it's going on, as the whole race is going on. We come out this shoot on the other side and just kind of move on so it's kind of surreal you know that's to hear pretty, this whole thing going over top of you that, that's pretty awesome the one the one really uh cool thing that i heard and you i'm doubting you heard it because you don't listen to nascar much but i listen to a lot of nascar during the day just yeah. there's a nascar station and stuff and i, I was listening to it and before uh, the race they had the track president on from darlington and said that it was like a personal request uh, of him to get uh, Larry Fleet to play oh, wow. because he had saw him earlier that year and was so impressed. And I'm oh, thinking wow. it was probably because of the bass player. I'm pre- I probably so. Yeah. I, I'm, I concur with that. Yes. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> but it was really cool. He was like, because they were talking about pre-race uh, entertainment and stuff, and it's, it's yeah. become a huge deal. And and he was like, yep, yeah, and you guys aren't going to be disappointed. Uh, we have got, uh, you know, Larry Fleet coming in. And so I was like, that is the coolest thing ever. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it was pretty awesome. And the, and the stage manager dude, he said, yeah, I was doing this last year. And I said, well, who'd you have last year? He said, oh, Grand Funk Railroad. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, well, okay. That's a Grand Funk. I guess that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's cool for somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't know. <laughs> Why y'all got to hate on Grand Funk, man? I love Grand Funk, brother. That's what I'm saying. I, I dug it. You know, nobody else in the band knew who they were. Yeah, that's a good Grand Huh? What? <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. You know. So October 22nd, you're going to be, you looks like, I thought, I think I saw right before that, you're going to be in uh, Alabama, like the the yep. 20th, and then Georgia, the 21st, maybe? We're playing um, the Georgia Theater in Athens. Oh, yeah. Um, the night before, and I think it's about sold out as well. Um, I, and then, yeah, we're Birmingham. I, I, and then, yeah. yeah, I think that's going to be great. I think that's going to be an awesome show, October 22nd here in the Chattanooga at the Signal. Yeah. And, and I know that the upper upper seats were listed is sold out already. They have like an upper area. Yeah, because there's not much to that. I think it went pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a little balcony. It's I a, tried to get them, but I was not quick enough. Oh. Yeah. And so, <laughs> oh, this is it. When you come to town, I'm going to ask you. And I don't know. You're going to get mad at No, you won't get mad. Look, he's going to put you on the spot again. Yeah. Like oh, you did no. last oh, time. No. What is it? Last time. I have a, uh, I want you to do a, a make a wish thing for a 49 year old. 
<laughs> He's not terminally ill. Make a wish for a 49-year-old fat kid. What, what element is it that you have, son? Uh, I have uh, lubriderma. <laughs> that was a... Uh, Kevin <laughs> Kevin James did a, a, a bit, and he said he had like, lubrid something. Anyway. <laughs> no, I, 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 you know, I, I'm not going to ask you to you know, come backstage or meet and greet anything, but I would love to, if it was at all possible, I would love to get in and, and, uh, and you know, Larry may have strict rules about this. Your people may, but I would love to see the sound check. I don't know. I've got a thing that I've just, I've, I've wanted to do that. Oh really? Yeah. And, and um, if, if it was, I mean, you know, if you can, if you can't, then, um, I, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I have no idea. Um, I, I'm, I will certainly try. Yeah, well, that's I don't cool. know. That's I don't I know when ask. the sound check is or any of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, you, well, you if it's the see. middle of the afternoon, I'll just come down here and hang out till I see you. And like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna go in with him. <laughs> well, he, you know, he he already knows where your kid works. Yeah. Well, that's true, man. He's already stalking half of my family. No doubt. So, no doubt. Know, hold somebody hostage. <laughs> yeah. Now, if we can make that happen, that would be great. If we can't, uh, you're still my favorite basis for Larry Fleet. <laughs> I, will, I will do what I can. I prom- How about that? I promise you. I'll do what I can. Yeah. But uh, we're going to come up with something good. And I think uh, what I want to do to give away, uh, I have two tickets two general admission tickets awesome um to give away i bought two one for myself one for my wife and uh then i got bought two more to give away and i think what i want to try to do for those is i wish people would listen to this podcast yeah so if they listen to this podcast and they hear it send us a message on facebook or at our email, two likable guys at gmail.com. You got Instagram as well, right? And yes, we do. We have Instagram. You send us a message anywhere on there, and there'll probably be a way to enter the uh, for the tickets there. But if you mention that you listen to this on here, you will get double the entries. That's a solid deal. Yeah. I, I think we ought to come up with a like a code, like code word. Well, yeah. that they have to send in. Yeah. Well, it, it, and I'm thinking two code words. I'm thinking it would be crazy. And the other one legs. <laughs> the other one legs. Oh, yeah. Sounds like playing, yeah. boys. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if, you, uh, if you're if you out there and you want to, uh, you want a chance to win a couple tickets to go see um, the amazing Eric Crazy Legs with his singer, Larry Fleet. Um, well, and the rest of an amazing band. I mean, yeah. you know. We we have got just a great great band. So well, yeah, I don't. Um, I, I, I don't, think everybody's going to take it. Yeah, I definitely don't. I don't know who the drummer is, but I know Xander Wyatt. I've seen. Uh, I followed him on um, um, Instagram, and that dude. I I wish I could play half as good as he could as he can. <laughs> as he was he he plays some just little. He does a little acoustic stuff every now and then, and he'll just throw a little clip on there of something he's working on or something. And, and he is quite the talented uh, well he musician. comes from a long line like his uh his mom has done a whole bunch of stuff uh, and uh played with uh elvis and his mom his grandmother played with sinatra and wow um, even did some stuff for neil young and you know back in the 70s and stuff. so he comes from a long line of holy it's in the yeah. blood yeah 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 he's got it he's got it he, and he's my roommate generally on the road and we do hotels and stuff okay too, so. He's my little brother. All right. See, he's a younger guy, isn't he? Well, he's in his late 30s. Uh, well, then you and the old man. Okay. Yeah, I got about 10 years on him. I got about 10 years on everybody. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, everybody is younger to us. Yeah, now. Oh, yeah, of course yeah. they are. Yeah. 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 There's very few. It's, it's still very strange to me, you know, because I was <laughs> always the baby, no matter what I was doing. Now I'm the old man. Yeah. I got you. I got it's, you. it's a very weird transition. I, I've been going, I've been feeling it myself as we creep a lot closer to the big half century mark. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm only a few months out from that. Yeah, me too. Uh, when's your birthday? <laughs> uh, January 6th. <laughs> Are you say, did you say January 6th? Yeah, yes. <laughs> no that joke. My, my birthday, <laughs> I turn uh, 50 the day before you do. January 5th. Are you 5th. serious? Yes. I never knew. Wow. <laughs> that's so insane. Wow. Maybe yeah. that's why we got along. Maybe we need to have a- Capricorns. A, maybe you need to have some kind of big 50th birthday party. There we go. Yeah, let's I do it. I guess it depends on where you are and stuff, but yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm down. 
Yeah, let's do it. Well, yeah, we can, we can hire the boys, make him make him play at his own party. <laughs> make him play at his own birthday <laughs> yeah, party. Yeah, that sounds like a great town. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Something that, I won't get paid at. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not only do you have to work, but then you don't get paid. <laughs> that's even better. Man, it's, uh, hey, well, it, cool, man. I I tell you what, we had a, a lot of I had a lot of response from um the people we mentioned last time uh, we chatted, uh, especially cool. fr- from the Red Bank High School um, members. Uh, I actually heard from a, a few of them, like you know, uh, Damien Yance uh, reached out. Oh yeah, uh, I love Damien. He, Damien. he man, he he is uh, looking good. Uh, real, you know, just real nice guy now. I mean, he he looks like he's doing really well. I don't want to sound like that. <laughs> what that sound? Well, <laughs> Real I nice him, guy man, now. I, I our, our kids were before I started back on the road. Our kids were and scouts together. Oh wow! And I was like, holy crap! I said that guy looks just like Damien. <laughs> <laughs> and so I wasn't even playing time, and I went over and said, "Hey man, what's what's your name?" And he said it, and I said, "He's you're Eric." And I went, "Yeah, of course." I was like, "Holy crap!" That's awesome. Said, man, I haven't seen you in twenty something years, but yeah, Damien, I always loved Damien. He was cool. Damien and uh, I, you know, do you remember uh, Chris Roach? Yes, of course I do. Yeah, he's uh, he, he was definitely planning on doing some uh, pregame. Uh, we were, I saw he made a post about doing some pregame before the show when you're in town. So yeah, yeah, and I well, need, that's ought to be a trip, man. I haven't seen a lot of these folks. In a long yeah, time. I need to. Um, I'm going to make it a public apology. I owe uh, Chris Roach a few things. He. Uh, he had ordered a oh. T-shirt and I delivered it and and I, I never did get it to him, and and, and he never did say a thing. So oh, um, so man. next time whenever I see him, yeah, whenever I see him, I'm gonna he's he's got some uh, special gifts coming from Steve and possibly two likable guys too. Oh, oh. cool, man! So, well, good on you. Yeah, yeah. I need yeah, to make that take right. Take care of that. Yep. And I'm going to, I do it on here because I've said I'm going to do it for years and I've never gotten around to it. I mean, cause literally, literally it's been like uh, two and a half, three years since, since I was supposed to get it to him. And, and, uh, I think he even went in above and beyond and donated a little extra. So, uh, I feel oh. really bad about that. Oh, you should. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You're Thanks. terrible, man. I, I always, I always. That's love. great. I, I didn't have to say it this time. <laughs> always. I, I know. I didn't get Josh. There's one for you. <laughs> I love. I love how you build me. I love up. Josh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's we got. We got to hang out. I'm. Gonna, I'm going to try oh, to make. I'm going to try to make the show down there. Yeah. Well, if not, you know, we'll we'll do something some other time as well. You know, yeah. we'll be It'll waiting be for you. We'll be waiting outside the venue after you guys play, so looking for autographs and stuff. We'll be uh, we'll be little fanboys and we'll have our like autograph books. And... Well, maybe, yeah, maybe we, maybe we can bring y'all around over to the bus or something. Oh. You 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 haven't ever seen our bus? Have we got um you know the Smokey and Bandit bus? I know. I saw the uh I saw that when you were first getting yeah. it or first starting to use it, but uh, that would be the coolest thing. Uh, do you still have a snowman and uh, do you have a uh, like? Didn't you have a your uh, trucker was the snowman. Wasn't that his name? I'm, y'all look at me. Uh, like, uh, yeah, yeah. No, that was the snowman. Yeah, no, no, we don't. I mean, you've got a bus driver. <laughs> I can call him snowman if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was trying to, I was sitting here but looking at him trying to figure out what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, like, so the bus is. The, the bus, the, the, the 18 wheeler driver in Smoking the Bandit. He yeah, was, Jerry Reed. Jerry, Jerry Reed was snowman. Yeah. yeah. Just, Which, like, uh, ironically, Jerry, uh, Jerry Rowe is his grandson who played um, drums on Louie's record. Really? Ah. Yeah. Jerry Rowe is an amazing drummer in Nashville. Yeah. And and I'm friends with his daddy, Dave Rowe, who actually played bass for Jerry back in the 70s. Oh. Yeah. Man, and then ended up playing that. bass with uh, Johnny Cash. You learn something new every, yeah. every time uh, we talk. Uh, something amazing. And <laughs> like I love the connections, like how one of your openers, um, his relatives killed one of our presidents. I mean, that's yeah, the coolest yeah. thing ever. It was wild. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me, uh, his name is Tyler Booth, and his great 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 grandfather was John Wilkes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't quote me on that. I'm paraphrasing. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, I'm just playing but- with you. 
No, amazing, amazing musician. Y'all need to check him out. Yeah, but all, all, all the folks we have playing with us are, are, are really good. We've got great opening acts. Listen, I want to mention them again. we got Megan Maroney. Um, mm-hmm. uh, and they, they, Nate Smith. They, what was the other one? Uh, uh, Nate Smith. Nate Smith. Yeah. And then Tyler uh, John Wilkes Booth. No, Tyler <laughs> Booth. No, John Wilkes. And no, John Wilkes. That's, that's my ridiculous He's a Kentucky name. boy, not a Virginian. Okay. John Wilkes was from. Uh, well, I, you know, I imagine they had to move after the incident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kicked him out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm ridiculous. Man, it's always uh, it always goes by too fast. I, I know we're we're probably over than what we were thinking about doing, but uh, just a bunch of school girls get to yakking. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> the hens cackling. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but I've gone over all my notes. Anything, uh, anything exciting you want to add about? Uh, why should people come spend their hard earned money to come see a show with Larry Feet featuring? Larry Fleet featuring Eric Crazy Legs. Well, yeah, I, I mean, you know, it's just a good show. Right? We have fun. It's a good time. It's just a a, a lot of energy, and and, and you know, and, and we involve the crowd. So I mean, you know, our our songs are catered to the working man. Right. That's what we're all about, you know, and and that's who Larry writes songs for, and and that's you know what he is, and so. You know, we want everybody to kind of feel they're part of the band when they come to see us. You're the Dale Earnhardt of country yeah. music musicians. I, that's 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 a good one. I'm gonna steal that. Please do. Yeah, but because that's that's exactly what it is, and that's why we realize that because we've all saved up our nickels and pennies and gone to see shows and stuff, and so that's why we've really put a lot of thought and effort and hard work into making this the best that we possibly can. So it, it's full of surprises. Oh, and so hey, do they still come out and set you up and stuff for the? Uh, you don't have to set up your own uh, rig and stuff anymore, right? Oh, I still do a lot of it. Yeah, okay. I mean we've got we got techs, um, but no, I, I mean I, it's just I feel bad having somebody do. That. Yeah, <laughs> you hey, know, well, I'm like, well, I did that for a living, so I, I feel bad about it, and I'm like, well, I could do this myself. Oh, good lord! And so, do you still have uh, who's your guy, Petty John? Oh, Petty John. Oh. No, old Petty John, he's uh, he he's gone now, and so we've got a, a, an amazing team, uh, Les Hall. Les Hall, and um, yeah, and then we've got um, some production people. So we've got sound folks and stuff on with us now since the last time we talked. So uh, you know, the, the organization is growing. There you go. Yeah, hey, and and, and it is uh, is it photos by Steph, pictures by Steph? Still doing some photography for you guys. Uh, um, she's not on the road with us anymore. We've actually got um, a new one, uh, Matthew Pastor, uh, who did um, a, a lot of our videos. Um, okay, great. The 1979 videos and the Where I Find God videos. Yeah, and, um, worked for Jake Owen and, and a whole bunch of other people. Oh, and uh, that <clears throat> um, Larry's release of uh, him and uh, Morgan Wallen doing the duet for uh, Where I Found God is is uh, man, it's hot. It's like that has like a gazillion views now. Uh, yeah, I haven't even seen it. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, uh, it, well, it, that was, well, that was recorded the last show that we did with Morgan in Montana. It gives you chills. Uh, I'm telling you yeah, that, that, that song, something about that song gives you chills when, especially when they're up there doing it. The only thing that would make it better is if they had a nice smooth bass line in the back. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the acoustic version. Yeah. So I got to yeah. let Morgan and, and Larry have a little time. Yeah. Well, you can't <laughs> hey, steal the he, whole show. I was going to say, he can't be the star all the time. Yeah. There you he's go. Yeah, share yeah. The Morgan's spot. had his time. You know, he's got all the, he's got every, every award under the sun right now. So, yeah. yeah good stuff man eric uh it's always a pleasure and uh again we, have to, we need to go out and uh maybe one day we can go out and eat again that was that was a lot of fun yeah yeah uh, we'll definitely got, do. I'm not gonna, I, i'd love to hang out with you too josh yeah man mm. i i want to too we'll, yeah, we'll have he, to do an evening time he was, you know. he was, i have to i have to work during he, the day i don't i don't get yeah. to be like steve and, after, after we got done yeah, eating, lounge about. Yeah. after we got done eating lunch that day i said hey uh, uh josh guess who i had lunch with and he said I wasn't invited. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm officially inviting you, so. Heck yeah, yeah. man. Heck yeah. yeah. And, so. and I'm not even going to ask you for a bunch of autographs and stuff this time. 
Uh, well, we'll see what we can do for you. No, like but, I said, well, uh, you holler at me. You holler at me. No, you God. just want backstage passes and no, sound check. I, I, no, and, uh, I really just want to. VIP. Summer, I've always you wanted to. You want to sleep be, in my bunk for a little while, too? <laughs> take a nap. Uh, um, it depends on if you're there, too. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I've got a meeting right now. So. <laughs> no, man. Wow. That's good stuff, man. So, uh, hey, is, is Larry on the bus with you? he got his own oh, right yeah. now no 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 we're, we're not quite that fancy not, not that yet. fancy no, we're, yet we're all i think there's eight or nine of us um uh, right now on the bus i got you cool and and so we, we he and i do have i do have a luxury on the bus of it and so does he we've got what are called condo bunks so all those are about twice as big as the others ah, uh, so, so, so we could share a bunk <laughs> Steve's oh, eyes just, I got, I Steve's eyes just lit up. I got, a, I got a sleep, you know, with this kind of hanging up like that. I, I'm sorry, Steve. I can't get you in there. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, it, it, but anything like that, anything you can do, I would yeah. love to. That's this old to, football entry. I can't. I can't yeah, I, know, I understand. <laughs> But on a serious note, anything you do, I'd love to see the bus. I'd love to. And, and even if you're not there, I may try to go around and try to take some pictures of it. And, and Oh, yeah. We can we'll, we'll get we can get y'all back there. My parents are coming, too, so they've never seen it. Okay, great. Seen it, so. so, yeah, we, we can work something out for Well, you. just tell me what time to be there. And, and uh, I might already uh, be there waiting on you. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I, I know, right, for a few more days or weeks, I know where your kid works. <laughs> <laughs> man this is fun that's yeah. fun uh as always thank you for your time thank you for everything yeah man um, Likewise, Eric, Jim, harley thank brown you. check out if you haven't checked it out yet uh, do a google search or a uh, facebook search and search for hashtag eric crazy legs you gotta say it crazy, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> because he is the Elvis, uh, Richard Petty. Uh, they didn't say Richard Petty, did they? Yeah, Kyle yeah. Petty. No, no, Richard. No, said Richard. Richard. Yeah, it, it's because hat. of my hat. Yeah, it's because uh, of my hat. Okay, okay. Yeah, and it's good stuff, man. That hat's pretty fantastic. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah, and, man. I, but I'm real. I'm a little disappointed. I have yet to see any pictures of you uh, on stage with the two lockable guys T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I got some. There was some. I, we were playing at Faster Horses, and I I wore it all day there. So there was people taking pictures. Yeah, They're saw, out there somewhere. Yeah, I saw some pictures. Uh, uh, like kind of behind the scenes pictures. Uh, yeah, really. With, with yeah. the shirt on. Yeah, is that true? I saw yeah. one. What well, you're supposed yeah. to know this stalker. I know. <laughs> Come on. I'm I'm failing. Slacking. Slacking. Yeah. Eric, man, it's always a pleasure. Uh, I'll be hitting you up personally for some more swag. God, I don't doubt that. <laughs> I really just, I really just want to hang out again and and talk about stuff. We we had so much fun. Uh, yeah, man, we'll, we can definitely do something. Yeah, so, we can definitely do something. And then maybe we'll come up with a new segment. Uh, what would Crazy Legs do? I, yeah. What so well, and I'll try to round up some of the other boys when they're not out and about. Like I said, everybody else is out right now. So I'm it's, on man, we right appreciate now. it. Yeah. And, and if, if, if anybody ever wants to <laughs> speak with us on tape, uh, we'll, we'll, I will drop whatever I'm doing to get that, uh, accomplished. So. Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. Definitely. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Just for you guys. Nobody else. Oh, that's awesome. You guys are the Kings. You know, kind of like trying. Elvis <laughs> and Richard Petty. <laughs> <Richard Bay. laughs> there's, there's, there's a theme there. Man, have a great night. All right, brother. Y'all, y'all take care. Good talking to you guys. Uh, you too, brother. Thanks, Eric. See y'all later. Bye bye. That was fantastic. I don't think I've laughed so hard in a while. Man, it's always a good time when he's on with us. That's that's why he frequents the show. Yeah, he's one of our favorites. Yeah, he's got a. Open invitation anytime. Yeah. And and we're going to abuse that invitation because... <laughs> we already have, I believe. <laughs> uh, because his, his, his big hat brings the boys to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's not his milkshake. Actually, it's his leg shake. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. It's this like, is a PG show. Come we, on now. We get him in. You know, but that's what they used to say about Elvis. I know it. I know it. They, you know, there's that new Elvis movie, man. Uh, there was a newer, or it just came out on something. Yep, I haven't watched it yet. Man, it is, it is eye opening. They, they ran that poor man to death. No. Well, uh, don't give it away. Hey, it's, it's, 
Spoiler alert. <laughs> I am not going to tell you that he dies on the toilet oh, at the end. Oh, man. Dang it. And the Titanic doesn't sink. Jeez. Oh, wait. It does. Oh. Anyway. Hey, remember this. We've got a contest going on. And if you want to win two tickets to the soon to be sold out, I'm going to predict it right now. It's going to sell out because last time he was here, he had sold out. I'd say it's a pretty safe prediction. If you want your chance at two tickets, when <clears throat> we'll be giving them away a few days, I'll, I'll put this online, a few days before October 22nd when he's here, try to give you a few days to get to it and get here, get the tickets, or I'll meet you or whatever we'll have to do to get you the tickets to the one or two special winners, you and bring a guest, whatever you want to do. Yeah. But if you want extra entries, if you listen to this podcast and you send us the code word, what is the password? The password is crazy legs. If you email that to us, don't post it on where other people can see it. Uh, Strictly email. Strictly email. Two likable guys at gmail dot com, or you can send it to our Facebook or, or yeah our Facebook messaging. <clears throat> but if we see you posted it on somewhere, we, don't we don't like that. Don't cheat. You can tell people it's okay. Tell all you want. You know they can do the same thing, but realize that's that's lowering your odds, but helping someone else's. So you will get three entries. Three. I'm putting it down right now. Three. Three entries. And the way we usually do our contest is you're assigned a number. From uh, It usually starts the first person to enter is usually number one. And then if they send us an email, they will also get entries two, three, and four. What? So you're giving them four entries? No, they get one for, you get an entry for whatever the post is on Facebook or whatever. You this get one. Is, no, it's already not. screwed up. No, it's not. It's easy. It's, it's straightforward. <laughs> There's going to be a post and it's going to say, like this post, like this post, uh, and maybe comment, like, and share and comment. It's something like that. Yes. Something okay. very common to, and, and you got to do all of the, whatever we say, you get like, share and comment. Perfect. Perfect. Like, share and comment. Do all that, you get one entry into winning two general admission tickets to see Larry Fleet. Now, if you send us the secret code password to two likable guys at gmail.com or the two likable guys Facebook messaging, you get three. Extra. Three, in addition to any other entries you got. Only good for one time, though. You get the three for one, you know. You, know, just, you, you can't just email us 100 times and, and think you're going to get 300 emails. 300 entries, you get three, period. It, it, it ends at three. <clears throat> so the most you can have is four. So if you go on there, you'll have four entries, and you like it. And So you have three from the email, and then one from the post, and then... Somebody just wants, puts one on the post. They only have one. So you have a roughly 80% better shot at winning. And my you stati- do some of that red bank math just there. <laughs> yeah. You, like that? you could see the wheels turning, couldn't you? And I'll tell you, 50% of the time, I'm right all the time. 100% of the time? <laughs> No, fifty <laughs> percent of the time I'm right. Eighty percent of the time I'm right. Fifty percent of the time. Okay, I got you. Give or take fifty. <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> so, anyway, we're two likable guys. Check us out. We uh, do this podcast thing. It's a lot of fun. And I just noticed that you look at me because I'm playing with the table. <laughs> it's all right. I'll get it out of post. <laughs> Guys, uh, this has been a blast. Eric, uh, thank you again. Um, For Steve and the awesome co-host, Jose. (laughs) This is Juan and Jose's (laughs) Dulls Lockable Guys. (laughs) (laughs) Man, we love you guys. Uh, Thank you for listening. Uh, We like you, and we hope you like us, too. Later.